The past few weeks have been a few weeks of some new things for me. Today I want to share some of those new things with you. Uh, first off, I got some new Bluetooth headphones, I got a new walker mower deck, and I got a new truck. Today we're going to talk about those things while we cut a yard. Okay, well since we're already at the yard that I'm going to cut today, I'm going to talk about my, my Bluetooth headphones that I switched to. So I did switch to the Isotunes Pro. Um, these are Bluetooth, and I, I don't know if they're supposed to fit like around your neck like that or in the front like this, but I put mine in the front. Um, in the back, it tends to get kind of caught on my neck and just kind of pulls, and I really, really hate it when they pull. But in the front, I have zero problems with them. So first off, they're, they're very comfortable. Um, I do want to point out that these are OSHA approved uh, noise reduction headphones. So like I said, the sound is really good on these. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like them. You know, I like a little little bass and I like some good sound when I'm, when I'm riding. Kind of gets me in the mood. So another thing I really like, they're really comfortable. Um, these kind of fit over your ear like this. And I like them because they're, they're really flexible. What I usually do is I stick them in, I wrap them around my ear, then I just kind of push them in really nice and tight, and they hold really good. Now the earbuds that come with them, I've been using this one right here, the little squishy ones. Not a big fan of those, so I'm going to try a different type today. Uh, these are like Christmas trees, or I don't know what you call them, but uh, we're going to give them a shot. And you know, that's another good thing about these is they come with uh, a big variety of earbuds that you know whichever you you may prefer I didn't bring the box with me or nothing like that I'll show you guys that when I get back to the shop just kind of wanted to point out kind of the good things uh, or the, the good that I like about these uh, the bad can't really say there is a bad I think the uh, the Bluetooth when you're talking on the phone not quite as good as my other ones but still I mean you can hear and I haven't really had any problems so can't really say that's a negative I only call it a little bit of a negative because I the, the voice coming in is not quite as clear as my other ones. Um, I've talked to other people, uh, obviously, using these. And I ask them if they can hear me fine. They always say yes, so, you know, I guess, that, <laughs> I guess that's all you need, right? So it just got it trimmed and weed eated. Uh, although when I was weed eating, when I got done, I figured out I forgot to hit the record button. So none of that footage, which you guys probably didn't want to see that anyway. But now all we got to do is just mow and blow. Um, I want to talk about my my new deck for the Walker. Um, on the diesel, uh, it came with a 52 rear discharge deck, just like my other one. And I seen that a guy was wanting to trade for a 52 rear discharge deck and he had a 60 inch side discharge and I just thought that was a win-win for me uh, doing some of these bigger properties I can have a side discharge and uh, things like that so that's what I did. So there it is 60 inch side discharge deck. Honestly, I really do like it a lot. I think it just gives me a little bit more, uh, I'm more versatile now because I got the 52 rear discharge, I got the 60 uh, side discharge, got the walker. 
uh, the bagger and uh, I feel like I can just do more now. Um, the 60 inch deck is really going to help out with the bigger stuff and uh, you know we're doing these parks and some of the some of the acreage properties uh, just not meant to to mulch or rear discharge. All right one thing's for sure a little Christmas tree earbuds oh my goodness way way better. Now that was noise canceling and that was man that music was good. I thought it was good before but now it's just new and improved. These earbuds made a world of difference. I think it's because they're shoved so far up in my ear. It's like it's sealed locked, like it's like it's just locked shut. Because when you when you when I pulled them out, you could hear it pop, kind of pop a little bit. I like them. I like them a lot. If you're interested in any of these, I'll put a link below. But yeah, I, I love them. I I like them because they're lightweight and they're not so big and bulky. And not like the LGs are bulky or anything, but I like these because I could just wad them up like this and I can throw them in my pocket. You know, kind of hard to do that with the LGs. Um, I just, I just like them. I like them a lot. So now I'm back to the shop, getting ready to head home for the day. And uh, I wanna talk about the third thing that has changed in my business. To me, this is the biggest one. And obviously, uh, I think you'll agree. Um, the Isotunes, excellent headphones. I recommend them. Um, I'm, I'm very high on them because they just sound really good. Uh, they do cut out the mower noise. Uh, they do protect your ears. And they're, they're just very compact and very lightweight. Uh, so far, they've worked really, really well for me. Uh, the other thing we talked about was the 60-inch deck for the walker. Um, I'm very much excited about that. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, we got some bigger properties. I think that's really going to help. Um, the diesel is finally fixed, running good, and I'm excited that we actually get to start using this thing uh, on a regular basis. So here's my other new purchase. This is a 2001. Uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 and I just got it uh, lettered up last week I think the, uh, the logo on the white looks really awesome uh, I still like it on the black but I don't know I might have to go with the white from now on I think it looks really good as you can see we got the uh, regular cab and the long bed uh, this is kind of what I was looking for I I would have preferred an extended cab just in case I needed their extra room but I'm actually really liking the uh, regular cab. So kind of, kind of my thought process on this, uh, the flatbed didn't quite work out. It's having some problems. 
Uh, still runs good. It's got a hole in the gas tank. I need to replace the gas tank. And uh, I just kind of got tired of dealing with it. Um, and it's just not a truck that, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be a very reliable truck in the future. I could be wrong. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I looked around for a long time, for over a month, month and a half, just looking for trucks and not really knowing if I was going to try to buy one or not. And uh, usually when that happens, you know, I usually wait until I run into a really good deal. I think I got a really good deal on this truck. So I paid $3,000 for this truck. It's right at 200,000 miles. Uh, it has the 6.0 uh, that most 2500s have. And it uh, cost me $800 to get it lettered up. So this truck, as it sits right now, cost me $3,800. And I think that's pretty good. The, the truck drives really good. It runs really good. It's got good tires on it. Um, it's just going to be a good work truck. And if I can get a few years out of this truck, I'd be, I'd be stoked because I didn't, didn't spend a whole lot of money on this truck. Uh, I didn't go get a loan. I didn't do any of that. So that's what I wanted. I wanted something I could go out, pay cash for, uh, get the letters on there, and something that looks halfway decent. So basically what's going to happen now is I got this truck. It's uh, definitely just strictly a work truck. It's going to stay up here at the shop most of the time with the Duramax. My little 1500 truck, that's going to be my personal truck. I'm going to drive it back and forth, uh, do all my, my personal stuff with it, and come to the shop. White truck's mine. Flatbed, I'm probably going to end up trying to sell. I'm going to put, some, put a gas tank in there, try to recoup some of that money, sell it, and move on from it. Uh, I'm not going to say it was a bad purchase. I think it would have worked out if I just had the time to work on it. I just don't. I don't feel like messing with it. Um, I don't have the time for that stuff. I don't want to put any more money into it than I have to, and uh, I'm going to sell it. So, like I keep saying, guys, uh, you know, as far as my business goes, everything is still kind of the same. Still getting a few calls uh, here and there. We're staying busy. Uh, we're doing some uh, some flower bed cleanups now. I've got some aerations coming up. Uh, lawns are still needing mowed. And uh, we're just we're just staying busy, which is what I want. And uh, we'll, we're going to go into this winter. Um, might end up doing some snow. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll talk about that later. But right now we're just plugging away. You know, we went through a, a couple different employees here and there. Um, my main two guys I've had all year is still here. Uh, that's definitely a huge help. Albero and Brett. Um, most of you guys know Albero. Brett hasn't been on camera, I don't think at all this year. As far as employees go, you know, I couldn't ask for much more. Um, you know, two main guys. Um, you know, we've had some, had some good ones, we've had some bad ones, we've had some guys leave me in a tough spot, uh, you know, quit, no notice, things like that. But that's just stuff you, you know, you're going to have to deal with because it's going to happen no matter what. Um, in this field and in a lot of service industries and a lot of uh, just to be honest, low paying jobs, um, that's just going to happen. So anyway, I'm getting out of here. We'll see you guys later.